Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I thought we could talk about my favourite manga and one of like probably like upper echelons of the manga industry Vinland Saga. Now in this video I found this CBR place that everyone knows isn't that good at like coming up with ideas about what to do. So I thought that I could go over there five characters stronger than Thorfinn and five who are weaker. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to get into the manga at all in this. I have read all of the manga, so I will know about the characters. But I'm not sure if they're going to go into the manga or if it's just going to be about the anime. Because a lot of the times they just go into, like, anime stuff and never they, they never go into manga stuff. So we'll have to have a look to see if they do. Now, I hope this list isn't just, like, you know what I mean, like, the some random kind of villager you know that Thorfinn's already beaten up and we know that he's just stronger than I hope that it's like actual characters who are debatable who are stronger and who are weaker you know just because then it'll be like really fun to like try and gauge to see if he is stronger or weaker than but anyway I think we should just get into it I think it's probably going to start with this stronger character so let's see if this person is actually stronger okay so we start with obviously Thorkel here now I hope this isn't what it's always like just because we know that Thorkel's a lot stronger than Thorfinn we saw that in their fight or in the two fights that they done where Thorfinn got destroyed by him in the first one and in the second one he needed Askeladd's help to win and he basically just like had to get Askeladd to blind him to win so we know that Thorkel is stronger he is very much stronger he's like on Thor's level so I don't think there's anything to like really talk about here just because we all know that he's stronger even in the manga we know that he's stronger okay so I think it is going to go on the lines of this person who we never see fight who we know that is very weak is going to be weaker than Thorfinn because obviously Ragnar he hasn't like I don't think he's done anything with fighting he did try to obviously he does like know how to fight just because he is like a, a Danish person he is there to protect the prince but he's obviously not going to be that strong just because we've never seen him do anything and the only time that we went we almost saw him fight was when Askeladd tricked him and then killed him from behind but I hope it doesn't stay like this just because it's just like the obvious stuff you know I can make a video about this with like any single character that there is so number eight is Thor's yep Thor's is a lot stronger than Thorfinn we've never seen anything that Thorfinn can do that would be on the level of Thor's who was easily able to beat up like Thorkel who knocked him out with one punch so Thor Thorfinn really doesn't have anything that he can do that could beat up Thor's you know by the end of the series he might be stronger than like every single character that CBR thinks is stronger than him but we will never know because he probably won't even fight that much even during a massive war he doesn't fight he only like uses his hands to like stop someone so number seven we have Canute this is kind of obvious just because he's he's not weak we haven't seen him do anything with fighting he hasn't fought anyone really in the series he killed Askeladd but that's because Askeladd kind of let him kill him we're seeing him do like one bit of fighting in the manga and that was just him blocking it before people came and rushed to help Canute so he isn't really strong but he's not there to be strong he's there to show that he's mentally strong and that he can like lead people where on the other hand is Thorkel who is strong and leads people by being strong rather than being smart like Canute is but anyway let's move on to number six which will be Askeladd okay now this is one that I'm not like so sure on because in whether we are in the manga with Thorfinn he wouldn't get as angry as he did when in the anime when Th uh, Askeladd was fighting him we saw that Thorfinn was really good with his daggers against Askeladd in the anime but the way that Askeladd always won was because he like kind of tricked Thorfinn into getting angry so then he would rush him so then his moves would be more predictable he done that with every single fight that they've been in the way that he says that he forgot who Thorfinn's dad was and that he really killed him that made him angry and even in the last scene when Askeladd easily handles him he throws away a sword and then that just annoys Thorfinn so he rushes in and he just blindly does it out of rage but because Thorfinn isn't like that anymore in the manga I think it would be a lot closer fight I'm not sure who would actually be stronger and who would be weaker in that fight because Thorfinn is a very calculated guy now and he can like calm himself down he can think things through we saw that in his fight with Garm that we saw like right at the end of the 11th book or the 11th double book I don't know what I think it's like the 2020 22nd book or something like that but it would be a very good fight and a very close one maybe Askeladd might tip it just because of his experience and he's like more experienced in the field of fighting because he's been fighting like all of his life so maybe Askeladd might tip it but in the future I think Thorfinn will be a lot stronger than what Askeladd was when we saw him moving on to the fifth one is willy bold all right this is it's so dumb like we obviously know that willy bold is weaker than thorfinn what's the point of putting it in the list you know it's just like 
trying to find it's just like me going like five characters weaker than goku okay all right and i could say people like bulma chi chi you know people like that it, like do actual like good characters like do characters like beerus you know for dragon ball maybe i don't know i don't really know how strong goku is in the manga now but he could be stronger than beerus now do like Jiren maybe I don't know but just like choose characters that are very close who are like would spark a conversation just because you're like is he stronger is he weaker I don't know so just putting like willy bold or people like this it's just it's just so annoying just because it's just obvious you know but anyway let's go to number four which is Thorgrill now this is a manga character you won't know who this person is if you haven't read the manga obviously he is like one of the king's like personal guard or he was one of the king's personal guards he's a very strong character he just loves the fighting he loves doing anything to do with fighting he rushed the king he was able to like fight the king he swam around all of the Yom's Vikings to be able to face off against the king he fought the king's actual personal guard the person who just stays in him all the time so he is a very strong character but is he stronger than Thorfinn that's the main question because that's the whole topic of the video and I'm not too sure if he is going to be stronger than Thorfinn just because Thorfinn is able to put up a fight against Thorkel and I don't think Thorgrill would be or Thorgil would be able to put up a fight against Thorkel just because of how big and how strong Thorkel actually is you need someone who's small and nimble like Thorfinn to be able to go up against him so I actually think that Thorfinn is stronger than Thorgrill or Thorgil I keep on saying his name wrong I don't know why I keep on doing that but yeah I think he's I think Thorgil is actually weaker than Thorfinn so I think this is the first one where I'm going to actually say that it's a lie. He is not stronger than Thorfinn. Tell me what you think. If, he th if you think he's stronger or weaker, if you've read the manga. Number three, we can already see who number three is. And it's Alma. This is obviously another obvious kind of person. He's the younger brother of Thorgil. Thorgil and he just isn't that. I've only just noticed by that. It says Thorgil likes nothing more than a proper fight it would be a close encounter between Thorfinn and Thorgil but the latter's battle experiences just gives him the edge Thorfinn's been fighting next to Askeladd someone who's like one of the strongest people in the series that we've seen he's been fighting get alongside him for the past 11 years in battles in England I don't think that Thorgil might I don't think Thorgil's gonna have more experience than him he's also thought, fought against people like Thorkel and, and people like that he's been like at the king's side at a younger age I don't think or the prince decided at a younger age i don't think that he will have more experience than him but anyway back to Ulmer. it's just it's just an obvious one again it's just obviously he's weaker than him he's he couldn't even kill a dead pig or he couldn't cut up a dead pig so obviously he's going to be weaker so let's just skip that one now this is another one that he might not be snake I, I do really like snake i think he's a sick character in the manga and i think that he's so cool i like his sword and i like the way that he's so fast when he's fighting but is he stronger than thorfinn and i also kind of think that he's not stronger than thorfinn I think that when Thorfinn was fighting like Snake, I feel like Thorfinn really, really wasn't trying to like hurt him. He was just trying to knock him out when Snake was using the sword trying to like hurt him. So I think that Thorfinn was holding back a lot more than what Snake was during that fight. So I think that Thorfinn is actually stronger than Snake. But it would also be another close fight. I think it would be a really good fight to see if they were like both fighting all out. And at number one, we have Bjorn. Bjorn is obviously weaker than him because Thorfinn was like, the second strongest in Askeladd's band I don't really think it especially in the manga now I don't think it would be a very close fight I think that Thorfinn would just wipe the floor with Bjorn but I do really love Bjorn and I think that he's so cool but yeah it just wouldn't be it just wouldn't be close I don't think in the manga Thorfinn when he's fighting in the war of um the Yom's Vikings so yeah tell me what you think about uh these characters who they think is weaker and stronger than Thorfinn and tell me if you agree with them Tell me if you disagree with them in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you want. Subscribe to the channel. It would mean so much to me if you did. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great day or great night wherever you are. And peace.